C program to check whether a number is perfect square or not. Say we have a, a number which is given as 16. Now this is a perfect square because 4 into 4 is 16. But if you say some 16.234 like this value has been given or say some 17 value is given. Now this is not going to come as a perfect square. If you take a square root, it will give you some value. It will give you some uh, say 4 point something value, say 1 or 4.1 like this. Just I am taking an example. But it is not a perfect square. So how we are going to deal with this? First of all, we will input the number 16 or what whichever number is given. Now we will store this square root in a float variable. That is we want this float number. We want the result. Even if 4 is there, the square root comes as 4. We want it to be 4.00, right? Then we will assign this to an integer variable. That is, if you assign it to integer variable, 4 will be stored. Here, if you see, if you assign it to an integer variable, 4 will be stored. Both, both way 4 will be stored. Then we will compare it with this integer variable with the float variable. That is, we will compare this 4 with 4.00 and this 4.1 with 4.4. If you see 4 and 4.00 are equal, they are same. So now you can say this is a perfect square. But if this 4 and 4.1 when we compare, they are not equal. That is it is not a, 17 is not a perfect square. So if you are writing in C, then stdio.h and math.h, math for this square root function we are going to use. If you are using the C++ IO stream, you can include, this function will work there also. Now. When we have the first entry that is enter an integer number, so that that number has to be taken, that will be taken in this number variable. We will take the square root function and we will try to make sure that this number comes in float. So if 16 is given, this we want it to be 4.00 and then we will store it this f 4.00 in this f variable. Now we will assign this f variable to i variable, that is this is an integer, this is a float. So i variable will now con contain what? It will contain 4. Now we will compare i var with f var. That is we will compare 4 with 4.00. If they are equal because 4 and 4.00 are equal. They are a perfect square. If in case we would have given 17. Some, the double would have come says 4.13 type something. 4.3 will be stored here. And we will compare 4.3 and assign it to this 4.132 integer. So 4 will be stored in this i var. Now we will compare this 4 and 4.13. Since they are not equal, they will not be a perfect square. 